Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel with another fan TV, man. I'm here with my guy, Nevin. Uh, we're going to talk about that Ravens versus Panthers game this Sunday. Um, it's a matchup that, you know, a lot of Ravens fans should feel confident about the Ravens winning. But, you know, it's anything can happen any given Sunday, as they say. Um, so, Ravens got to show up. They got to dominate the game and be that team that we saw versus the Saints, and hopefully they can do that. So, uh, Nevin, what's going on, man? How you feeling about the Sunday's game? I like watching Pee Wee football teams play us. <laughs> I mean, I'll give them respect that they're a NFL team um, or just an NFL team or really like an XFL or something like that. Um, but, I mean, I just, like you said, I just don't want us to play down to our competition, honestly. I hate when that happens. I think we're on a roll right now. I think we kind of got our identity a little bit. Um, Baker Mayfield better not throw for over 100 yards. <laughs> I, I know, you know, realistically, he, he probably will. But at the same time, like, no, nah, we got to shut him down. I mean, it's not like he's doing but so much. Um, but that's 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 how I'm feeling about it. Um, I think we're going to shut down Mr. State Farm easily. And I feel that. So, yeah, you actually got into the first point that I wanted to talk about. Um, just, you know, given the guys that's out, you know, obviously for the Panthers, P.J. Walker is out. So that means Baker Mayfield, as you mentioned, is going to be the guy that's starting. Um, another big guy on their injury report, he's questionable, which is J.C. Horn, their second-year cornerback. So uh, if he doesn't play, that, that's obviously big. But, you know, I, I think he might, he, he'll probably go, but we'll see. Uh, but this Panthers offense, um, got to look it up. So 176 yards a game passing for 28th in the NFL. They only throw it 28 times a game, which is off 28th in the NFL. Uh, their rushing game, they average 118 yards a game rushing, which is middle of the pack, 16th um, on 25 attempts a game, which is 19th. So it's actually pretty good for their rushing game. But uh, for this game, I know Baker Mayfield is the story, but I'm kind of more looking towards a guy like uh, Dante Foreman uh, or Deonta Foreman, however, however really you say it. But uh, big running back, uh, and versus the they played them when they played on Thursday. So um, that's kind of what I'm expecting from this Panthers, from this Panthers team. It's going to be a heavy run dose. Uh, can the Ravens stand up to that? that that's really it. It's going to almost kind of be how, like, playing a, a, a Nick Chubb, right? They're going to keep going at the run game until they try to break you down. Can the Ravens withstand it? I think they can. Uh, but as far as Bigger Mayfield goes, I'm not too worried about Bigger Mayfield because the biggest thing that was going against him as far as him being a Panther he couldn't get the ball to DJ Moore. And when PJ Walker was in the game, he was getting the ball to DJ Moore. So if that still continues and they, can't, and they can't get the ball to DJ Moore, I don't know what else they're really going to do on this offense. But uh, what are you looking at as far as this Ravens, sorry, this Ravens defense versus this Panthers offense? I mean, I don't think it's too, like, uh, out of, you know, the obvious scope. But you say Ravens defense? Yeah, let me see Roquan. Let me see how he looks with some more time under his belt. It's crazy because that last game, with what, five tackles was just raw talent. I mean, and it was just a go fly to the ball, go get what you can. And now having, you know, the extra time to get that chemistry together, learn the playbook a little bit, and get a better understanding of our defense and what our defense has been doing, I guess also trying to do, you know, before he got there. Um, I'm, I want to see how he how he progresses, I definitely think he's going to get more than five tackles this game easily. Um, I mean, I'm going to respect the Panthers, but, you know, again, once you get to a certain point in your season and your team start gelling and you add another piece that you know is the top quality uh, talent and he start gelling with the team, we're going to be good. So I want I want to see what he, uh, what he got. I'm not throwing out huge expectations. But I definitely want to see what he has. I think he's gonna do art. Yeah, I, I think this is this is gonna be a big game for that for that interior defensive line, man. You know, you got your Calais Campbells, your Matt BKs, your Broderick Washingtons, even a guy like you know Brent Urban. You know, um, trying to stuff up that running them down the middle, uh, push the pocket on Baker Mayfield, make it tougher for him. We know he's a shorter quarterback, so seeing over the line make that tougher on him. Um, 
that's that's what I'm really looking for. You know, that 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 interior defensive line to really get some push, really put the put the game in the hands where it's like, all right, they they can't play action, they can't roll out. It's gonna have to be Baker Mayfield. Can you beat us with the receivers you got with the talent out there? Can you do it? Um, and if the Ravens get that to happen, I feel confident in the fact that that's not really going to happen. You know what I mean? Uh, so like you said, the Panthers are an NFL team, obviously. So I, I have respect for what they do. And they've been playing better as of late. Not not great, you know. They, they've still been playing better since they, you know, they, they let go of their coach, uh, Matt Rule. But um, this Ravens team, you're on a roll, right? That, that Saints game, to me, was one of the first dominant games of this season. And I want to see them keep rolling. I do, and you mentioned something earlier about not playing down to the competition, which is something that's been a problem for the Ravens since, man, uh, Joe Flacco was here. And, um, you know, when the players change and things stay the same, you know, you, you kind of say there's more of a coaching thing, but I'm not, not ready to get into that. But so hopefully the guys are up and ready to play. But the Ravens have a pretty good record after the bye week. Um, so I, I think they'll be ready to go, you know, honestly. You know, I think they're, they're rested up, ready to go. Um, but as far as that... This Panthers defense, I look at some of the numbers on the defense too. So, uh, 223 yards a game uh, allowed for the passing, which is 20th in the NFL. So, not not a great pass defense, all right? A little below average. And as far as rushing, 139 yards a game, which is 26th in the NFL. So, they got the sixth worst run defense. So, that bodes well for the Ravens. We know what they like to do, especially right now. Uh, Greg Roman's dialing up a great running game. Um, but I do want them to see them use this time of the year to get the passing game going, heading into this next stretch of the season because you're going to need both. But I could see the Ravens just running the Panthers' life away. So who, who are you looking for as far as this Ravens' offense versus this Panthers' defense? Quick question is um, who who's out definitely for our, uh, for our offense? By the way, it's going no, down right now. Great question. So on our injury report, nobody's out definitely. Um, there were players on the injury report that was listed as questionable, which is Mark Andrews, but he had a, he was a full participant in practice, so he might go. I would still hold Mark out. Like likely he's been playing good. Give him another week to get ready. But uh, Gus Edwards was limited all week. We could see him, but I'm not 100 percent sure. He's probably like a game time decision. And Lamar Jackson's on the injury report as questionable with the illness, but it turns out he might've just had his second child. So he's not sick at all. So actually congrats to Lamar Jackson and his family, um, if that is the case. So uh, as far as what Ravens players who are playing, that was on the injury report, Lamar Lamar will play. Mark Andrews, it looked like he's leaning towards playing. Gus Edwards, game time decision. Uh, Ronnie Stanley, is, he has no injury designation, so he's out there, he's full participant. And uh, Jesse Pierre-Paul, so that's, that's the premature Ravens. Only person that's not going to play is Jalen Armour Davis, but he hasn't been playing much anyway. So, now I knew about Lamar and the second kid. I just didn't know um, that they were classifying it as illness because I'm scared every time when it comes to Lamar. I don't know how many times this man has been sick over the past few years. Um, for our offense, I want to see Lamar go off, but. If Gus comes back, I do want to see how he gets back into the fold. If I mean, if he comes back, I'm sure it's going to be limited touches. Um, but I, I, I kind of want to see that. I mean, I know we're going to start having to rely on him a little bit more, just our running game overall. Yeah, definitely want to see our passing develop a little bit more because, you know, the deeper you go into the season, especially the playoffs, the more you're going to need it and need that balance. But it's cold. I mean, you know, teams with that good run game, those are the ones that start lasting a little bit um, down the road um, because you don't have to sit there and worry about the potential of fumbling and this and that. So, um, like I said, I know it's an if, um, but I kind of want to see where, where, where Gus is going to be at um, if he comes in. No, that's reasonable. That's, that's reasonable. I, I think I'm looking for a guy like um, I want to see a big game either from DuVernay or Demarcus Robinson, just because I want to see these guys get in time and in rhythm. And one of these guys can have a big game. That'll make me feel better coming along into the weeks because I feel like the Ravens are going to be able to run the ball with whoever's back there. Uh, Lamar is going to be able to get his yards. You know, your boy Justice Hill, he's been looking good. He's going to get his yards. 
And obviously, you know, King and Drake. King and Drake's been playing well, and he's going to get his yards as well. So um, I, I have I have pretty much all confidence in this run game. Hopefully, Gus plays. Um, but but if he doesn't, I'm not I'm not upset about it. He's also coming off a major injury, then a hamstring. So if they want to be cautious and keep Gus Edwards out, I'm all for it. You know, I I, I have no complaints about that. Um, so real quick, what's up with DJ? You ain't you know he ain't sound like he was on injury report or nothing. Is he is he a go? Like how you think we gonna fit him in there a few years ago? Like you know what's what's the word on that? Yeah, so. With Deshaun Jackson, I, I actually learned something. You know, I, I saw him yesterday, but my guy Howard in the comments, he told me that uh, some some truthful information that when a player's on the practice squad, they don't get reported to the um, active injury report, right? So all I know about Deshaun Jackson is, is that this entire week, the reporters did not see him practice, with, and we know that he left, you know, game, what, two weeks ago now with a hamstring injury. So there's really no update on him. If I had to guess, since they didn't see him practice any, any this week, I can't imagine that they'll throw a 36-year-old wide receiver out there with a possible hamstring injury um, with no practice. I mean, it could happen. He could be very, very, very limited. I just don't think Deshaun Jackson is going to play this week. I could be wrong, but I, I just don't think I just don't see him playing this week. Um, so, um, yeah, as far as that goes, I think the passing options are going to be more of Duvernay, Robinson, Proche, Isaiah, likely. I think that's going to be more of your passing options, honestly, uh, this weekend. So, yeah. Um, it's interesting because it's like <laughs> that's one of the things we talked about with Deshaun Jackson. Was like, yeah, you know, he because when I saw him play versus the Saints, like he looked good, like the routes looked good, it looked crisp, he still looked fast. But it's just the fact that he's more susceptible to the muscle kind of injuries because of his age, bro. You know, it's just it is what it is. You know, not to to crack on him or rag on him, but you know, he's an older player. Um, so you know, it just kind of is what it is with that. Um, so is there anything else that you're looking for? Any other X facts you're looking for either side of the ball going into this game? Um huh. I mean, again, like I'm trying to respect the Panthers as best I can, but I don't really see us having too too many words. And I'm not sitting there saying, oh, this player gonna break out this week. Or you know, or whatever the case is, um, Patrick Queen. Um, I throw my man's out in the mix when it comes to that. Um, I want to see him come alive though, um, but I don't see. You know, I'm not claiming him as an X factor. You know, if I would have put any X factor on anybody, it's still gonna be Roquan. But I mean, yeah, um, offense. You know, that's. I want to see Lamar light him up though. I want. I want to see that. I had the the whole Lamar and Baker talk, all that stuff. You know, from you know being division rivals, so to speak. I want Lamar how he came back out after he was on that toilet and threw that touchdown, and yet that that momentum and all that. I want him to play like that. Like he just came off the toilet the entire game. I want to see that that kind of talent from Lamar the entire time. But I mean. Other than that, like I said, uh, yeah, let's go get this dub and keep moving. Um, I, I think for me, the biggest thing I want to see is this, this is the overall team dominance, as we talked about before. I want to see the Ravens step up um, and dominate team that they're better than. That's that's the main thing. You know, the Panthers are um they're gonna fight like, like like they always say these guys get paid too is any given sunday and, it's, and these are all things that are true right but the ravens are a better football team and they need to show that um this sunday right um so that's that's main thing that i'm looking for is will you dominate who's in front of you because I, I just did a video about the ravens having a chance to you know win the number one seed in the playoffs in the afc it's possible it's a whole bunch of teams with three losses Ravens have the easiest schedule remaining um, the only other team that doesn't have only team that doesn't have three losses is the Kansas City Chiefs. They got two losses, and they got some tough games coming up. Tough games that they, that they could lose. You know, it's possible. So, um, not looking at other teams' schedule, but just for the Ravens, focus on what you got to focus on. Um, but if the Ravens can, <laughs> the start of being successful in the playoffs starts now, right? Beating the team that's in front of you that you're supposed to beat is my is my main point, right? And the Ravens, if they do that this week, that's what I want to see. So. 
I guess now that we're talking about that, right? Um, I want to get the prediction for the game. I want to see a dominant Ravens performance. I want to see a multiple score lead. This is at the bank. The Panthers got to come here. Um, I want to see a game. I want to see 30 to 10. That's what I want to see. 30 to 10 Ravens is no question. Game's over at halftime. Second half, we're, we're, we're closer to the victory. That's, that's the kind of game I want to see for the Ravens. So what you got for a prediction? With all due respect to the Carolina Panthers, I want to see us get there 42-17, honestly. I think that we're going to have a multiple. I think we're going to, I think we're going to get up there. I think we're going to come out the bye week with fire under our tails, and we're going to run the table for the rest of the season. I said it. You heard it here first. Well, maybe you didn't. I don't know. But <laughs> we're running, we running the table, and I think this is going to be that start. And I think we're going to, we're going to go out there swinging. And Panthers and everybody else in our way ain't gonna have nothing to do with it. So let's go with uh, let's go let's go forty two seventeen. Okay, big score, big score. I like it. Um, yeah. So like like I said, man, for me, this game right here is gonna tell me a lot about the rest of the season. If they come out here and play the Panthers well, every other team, whether it's the Falcons, Jags, um, you know, even the Steelers and things like that. Not that any of those games will be run overs, but it'll show me that the Ravens are up for the fight and not going to play down to teams that they're better than. But if we get some more typical, it's a nail biter for no reason, you know, it's the fourth quarter and it's close, I'm a little skeptical about how the rest of the season is going to go. So to me, this Panthers game, I feel like it's a big one. I really do. So um, yeah, man, you know, we both predict the Ravens W's 30 to 10 on my end, 42 17 on your end. Uh, big school, I like it. Uh, but anything last words you want to say before we get out of here uh, regarding this game? Let's, let's win. Just win, baby. <laughs> Be honest. Like, we're that team. A lot of people are scared of how, you know, as, as far as, like, the Ravens coming out the AFC. I mean, of course, of course you got your, uh, you know, your other teams that's um, around. Um, but when it comes down to it, um, you know, I think that they are starting to respect us a little bit more as we go down, go, go down the road. Um, you know, obviously we're playing like a playoff team, but can we play like a Super Bowl team and to that caliber? So um, I want this to be the start of us running the table, you know, and if, you know, if by chance, you know, we get down, you know, relax. We're going we to be fine. Let's just see how coaching adjusts, though. Yeah, man, good points, bro. Real, real good points. Uh, this Ravens game is going to be uh, the start of the second half of the season, the start of whether or not the Ravens can roll the, and maybe even run the table, like you said. You know, we'll see about that. Uh, for me, I, I, the Ravens must get six or seven wins to end this season off. And that starts with the Carolina Panthers this weekend. Um, show them who's the better team. Dominate from start to finish. That Saints game, I keep coming back to that game because that was the first, I feel, complete performance. Well, the passing game could have been a little bit better. It wasn't bad, but it could have been a little bit better. But that was pretty much the first com complete domination that I saw on both sides of the ball for pretty much 60 minutes. Outside of that little two-minute job to end the half and that little touchdown that they gave up, you know, that was at the, you know in the fourth. Besides that, Ravens dominated that game. And I would say that the Saints team is probably better. That Saints team is probably better than the Panthers, or at least maybe equal level. So I want to see. I want to see y'all do it again. Come up the bye week, and that's what we're gonna see, man. Um, so that's our Ravens versus Panthers preview. Both predicting Ws. Both want to see the Ravens dominate and handle this game uh, accordingly. Uh, give me your your thoughts, your predictions, your comments down there, and we'll talk about it in the comments. Right? It's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. Navin, and we out.